problem. Okay, here we are in Microsoft Excel. So we've uh, successfully converted, well, ex exported it over to Microsoft Excel. So now we want to convert and edit it. We want to make sure that we put this in the appropriate place in our Dropbox. So let's make sure that we're going into the right, the right folder. So make sure you're going into the right folder. It's Ballistic Pendulum. I'm just going to save that there. So now remember, if we just go back to our formula here, the only thing that we really need is, and it's coming back, is the mass of the ball, the mass of the tube. The mass of the ball is 118. No, it's not. It's, uh, what is the mass of the ball? I think it's 16. And then the mass of the tube, I believe that was 118. Okay. And then, um, so let me go ahead and close this. Uh, so now we need the mass of the ball, the mass of the tube, and the mass of the ball is still down here, and we have our YF. So YF is what we're looking for uh, from these calculations when it comes to Microsoft Excel. So let me just go ahead and make this big so you guys can see. Now notice from the beginning, the time, we don't need that. So I'll just select that, hide it, and X, we don't need it hide and the reason why I'm hiding it and not deleting it is because who knows what we'll need later so we can always unhide as opposed to uh, you know deleting deleting is a, a permanent feature and so I'll just hide this as well and hide so we have we have um, Y here and so I'm just going to follow the same procedure that I've been following I'm going to insert above to find the displacement I'm going to insert above in other words, I'm going to, and I'm going to say them in the same words, but I'm going to act like it's other words, but I'm going to follow the same procedure that I've been following uh, previously to find the displacement of uh, a position. Insert. 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 And this should be the last one. Insert. So now we're going to go ahead and do our calculation. And this is just going to equal to this number minus this number. So we have that value. And we're going to go ahead and make that pretty distinguishable. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm just going to try to paste this fairly quickly. Now it should be gone. So I have to go back and copy this again. And then the last one here. So now we need to find the average displacements, just like we've been doing before. Average displacement in the Y direction. This will be in meters. So not Everest, should be average. All right, so we're just gonna wrap that. Center and middle. And do the same thing here. All right, so we can always make that a little bit bigger. So let's go ahead and get our average. This is going to equal to what we've been calculating all along. So average, and this is our first number. And I'm just going to control it by hitting the comma. Remember, we're taking the average so that we can reduce the error. 
Sometimes we're going to overshoot a little bit. Sometimes we're going to under shoot a little bit, if that's a word. Even if it's not, you understand what I'm saying. All right. So that's our average value. It's about eight, eight millimeters. I mean, it's, yeah, about eight millimeters. It's less than a centimeter. So we'll go with that. And that is the calculation for the average displacement. In the next video, we will go into um, we will go into calculating our initial velocity using the theory from this page. So we're going to put this formula in right here, the one that's in yellow in, in the box. The V initial equals to mass of the ball plus the mass of the tube over the mass of the ball times the square root of 2GYF. So that will be the next video.